our discussion on blood pressure measurements will not be complete without understanding that day-to-day -day fluctuations in emotion, anxiety, etc. can also affect your blood pressure measure. There are two very interesting scenarios that we can discuss when it comes to changes in blood pressure as measured in the doctor's office. So when the patient comes to your doctor's clinic, your doctor's office to get her blood pressure measured, you can see two kinds of patients. One patient, she's otherwise a very calm, competent professional who does her work, manages stress very well. But the moment she comes into the doctor's office, she's a little worried. She is worried about being diagnosed as having hypertension. So she gets a little tense. She gets a little tense. She gets a little adrenaline pumping, noradrenaline pumping, and that increases her blood pressure. In day-to-day -day life, remember, this person has a normal blood pressure. But when in the doctor's office, she is a little nervous and that raises the blood pressure a little. Historically, it was thought that being in contact with a medical professional who's going to pass judgment on you, tell you that you're a hypertensive. Usually they wear a white coat and that white coat or the feeling of being with a medical professional who would say that you're a hypertensive would cause the blood pressure to rise a little. This is called white coat hypertension. Now, what is the significance of white coat hypertension? If you ask me, is a person with white coat hypertension a hypertensive? Not really, because in her day-to-day -day life, her blood pressure is within the normal limits. But then, is there a problem with the blood pressure rising when the patient is in your clinic? Yes, this shows that even slight stresses can push her blood pressure into the pathological level. So this patient has a tendency for blood pressure to go into the pathological levels and hence needs to take greater care and make lifestyle modifications, right? So white coat hypertension is not yet hypertension, but can be hypertension in the future. The second, imagine you have a driver Okay, he is a professional cab driver, let us say, middle-aged man. He is, generally he is driving through crowded traffic and that makes him very angry and nervous at times. So when he is in the doctor's clinic, okay, he doesn't want to be labeled as a hypertensive either. So just the opposite of the lady that we were talking about, the cab driver, he sits down and decides, okay, I will calm myself simply because I don't want to be diagnosed as having hypertension, right? So he becomes very calm. He relaxes, much more relaxed than his day-to-day -day life. So he sits there, very relaxed. He comes, get his blood pressure checked, very calm. His blood pressure is in the normal limits. That is, of his blood pressure reading is normal in this individual. Now, he gets out of the door and the doctor tells him, oh, you're fine. Your blood pressure is all good. You don't need to worry. Now, this gentleman goes, gets into his car. He starts driving. The next, he gets his next passenger. As he is going, somebody overtakes him. Till then, he was all zen and driving, and suddenly, his first person overtakes, and he's like, I'll kill you! I'll kill you! And that's it. His blood pressure has shot to 200. So, this gentleman, as a part of his day to day existence, is a hypertensive. He is a hypertensive at work. He is a hypertensive at home. But when he comes to the doctor's office, he is zen. So, you get a falsely low reading. So if you ask me, is a gentleman with masked hypertension, is he a hypertensive? Yes, he is. He requires treatment because it will produce complications. So that's the major difference between white coat and masked hypertension, right? So let me just give you the definitions of each one. White coat hypertension is a phenomenon of having persistently elevated blood pressure in a clinical, that is doctor's office blood pressure measurements are elevated, but when the patient goes home, Okay, and how do you measure it at home? There are two ways that you do it. One, you can ask the patient to measure it directly at home. There are electronic BP apparatus available nowadays, quite accurate. So the patient can measure her own BP at home and she will see that it is normal. Nowadays, there are certain devices. So here too, there is the risk that when the patient is pressing the button to measure it, she's going to get a little nervous and that will cause a rise in blood pressure. Instead, now there are machines which have a pre-programmed sequence of measurement 
So there will be a cuff attached and it will be attached to a small wearable device which will inflate the cuff at unpredictable intervals. So the patient will not be always nervous when the blood pressure uh, when the blood pressure cuff is inflated. That's what we call ambulatory blood pressure reading or home measurements. Okay, home blood pressure readings or ambulatory blood pressure readings considered equivalent. If you are doing the blood pressure readings at home or in an ambulatory setting, she has normal blood pressure. But when she is with the doctor in the doctor's office, the office blood pressure reading is high. This is what we call white coat hypertension. Okay, this is what happened to our professional lady who had come to us first. The second situation is the situation with the cab driver, I said. So this gentleman has normal blood pressure in the doctor's office because he is all zen and relaxed. But the moment he gets out and gets into the cab, that's it. He's angry. He's angry. And his blood pressure shoots up. So he has persistently elevated blood pressure in an ambulatory or home setting. But in the doctor's office, he's got a normal blood pressure reading. Okay. So let me summarize these two things. And we will also look at what we can do in each scenario. So if you look at it, we would look at office blood pressure reading home or ambulatory blood pressure reading and how do you manage if the blood pressure is normal in both situations that is both in the office and ambulatory setting you just need to follow up if the patient is having blood pressure elevated both in the office setting as well as in the ambulatory setting you have to offer the patient treatment that is what we call hypertension or sustained hypertension that's just another word sustained hypertension this is what we basically mean hypertension okay patient has elevated blood pressure both at home and in office many most of our patients fall in this sustained hypertension or what we just call hypertension masked hypertension is when there is no blood pressure elevated in the doctor's office but blood pressure is elevated at home or in an ambulatory setting so this is like our cab driver who is having elevated blood pressure in an ambulatory setting and uh, because of this the patient is having high blood pressure throughout and you treat masked hypertension just like you treat sustained or real hypertension right white coat hypertension is seen only in the doctor's office and not in the ambulatory setting these are the patients who are at risk for developing hypertension at a later situation so you do only lifestyle modifications in these Okay. You will get this table along with the notes associated uh, with the show.